Well, hello and welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Today, well, it's pitch black outside, as you may have noticed. So we're gonna go on a bit of a night drive. And we're not night riding, hello. She is beautiful. She could be the new night rider in hello. her rather hey, nice. Everybody. How nice to <laughs> see you again and again. And again. And again. And again. Right, stick with us. We are gonna go on a night drive. We've got the night rider. She's in her new car. Let's get it into gear. Put on the brake, receive your booth. Yes. Off we go. There we are, that's it. Off you go. Nice. Very, very easy to drive indeed. So let's go, you're going the wrong way. Going? That way. <laughs> there we go. It is dark. We go in that away, and then we're going that away. So where are we? Well, we're on the Pasadonis Avenue, which some people understand what that means and some people don't. It's actually the hotels road. So this is the road with all the hotels and we're only gonna go one way. And that one way is to the downtown Cato Paphos Promenade and Harbour area. First hotel on the block, which is on the left-hand side here. And that hotel is the Louis Fighton Beach Hotel. Luxury four-star hotel. That's coming up on the left-hand side now. And we're gonna keep on going straight, straight, straight all the way into Paradise, which is the Cato Paphos Promenade and Harbour area. So stick with us. This is the nighttime drive. This one now is the Pioneer Beach Hotel that's coming up on the left-hand side. The idea of the video is to show you if you're staying in one of these hotels, exactly where you are in, well, Paphos, obviously, but in location-wise towards the Cato Paphos Harbour. Asamina Suites has just come up on the left-hand side, and the next hotel coming up here is the Aqua Mari Hotel. I'm not sure we see the booth is dancing and singing at the same One time. Do you like your new car? Oh yes, everything new is good, yes. except the husband. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wise woman. The Ivan Mari is on the left hand side. Now, Mr. Ian, you may have gone home by now, I'm not sure, but I know you're staying there. So one of these days we might pop in and see if we can get a free breakfast out of you. That one there is the Leonardo Cypria Bay, which means this one, <laughs> Mr. J. Mac, is waiting the Cypria Maris. And it's waiting for you with bated breath. Don't be cruel. No, won't be cruel. Next hotel. That's the Lewis Ledra Beach on the left-hand side. And over there is, what's that place over there? The Amathon yeah. Village Aliath. Complex. Aliathan, Aliathan over there with it's all those lights. Hotel, by the way. It is a very nice hotel indeed. And then this one here coming up is the Athena Beach Hotel on the left-hand side. Very, very popular hotels, all these. So again, if you're staying in one of these, this video is gonna give you some idea to the location to the, that's the Athena Royal Beach there, that one. There's another one just come up. So there's too many hotels to name. And across the road, you've got restaurants, bars, got a doctor's place over I think there. one of them no, uh, not accepted children's. Maybe not. And then down there, round the back, is the, what's that one called, round the back? That's something beach, Imperial Beach. Imperial, Imperial beach. beach Hotel is round the back. Tea for two there. Some of these restaurants are open, by the way. Some are closed. You've got the Rib Shack just there. And then coming up on our left now is one of our favorite, favorite, favorite hotels in the whole world. See if you can make it out. That is the Olympic Lagoon Hotel. Somewhere the, where they love us too They much. love us too much. They love us too much. I'm not saying they love us to bits. But guess what? If you come back tomorrow, we'll be wancing around in their back garden because we're going to storm that little hotel on behalf of a rather nice couple and we've been requested to do it by Princess Tira. If so, uh, we normally say receiving? if somebody throw us uh, from the door we come in from the window. Exactly, we're going to go in the back entrance, there we are. The Anesthesia Beach Bar is there to the left. This hotel is the Amami Five Star Hotel on the left hand side now, which means coming up just down here is probably the greatest hotel in the world. Well, a lot of people say this. Dame Anne, Miss Maggie, Miss Fiona, oh, so, so, so sweet Caroline. They love this hotel to bits. And that hotel is? There it is. Alexander the Great and Stavros is standing outside to attention and he's waiting for his girls to come and ride the life out of him. Now 
coming up behind these trees is the five-star Almira Hotel. And it's hiding and nesting amongst these trees. All of these hotels are beachfront hotels, by the way, and they are truly spectacular hotels in their own right. If you were to go right over there and take a wiggle to the left, that is Bar Street, by the way. And then the last hotel on our little drive here, but by no means the least, is that one there, and that one is the Annabelle Five Star Luxury Hotel. Again, a beach hotel. Now we're into the downtown Kedipathos Promenade area. You've got the Royal Restaurant, one of our favourite restaurants over there. Hiding behind that is the Dionysus Hotel. You've got Costa Coffee, you've got Penguin's Restaurant, you've got the Gourmet Tavern just over there, and on the very, very corner, you've got T42. You've got Pizza Hut, Cafe Nero, You've got the Banya restaurant coming up. We're going to go straight down here, yes, we're seeing? Yes. Yeah, because it's open. So now we're actually officially on to the promenade. Have a look at that. It looks absolutely spectacular. So that's the Banya restaurant there to the left. And of course now it's shop after shop, restaurant after rest. We've got Gumbaru's in blue parked up on the left-hand side there. Although they seem to have gone for a frappe. And of course now coming up, to the left all the way is the blue 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 mediterranean sea and this is the paphos promenade that's the ideal cafe there that is the bacchus restaurant just coming up Bacchus. on the right hand how do you say it Bacchus. Bacchus. and then you've got honus diamond shop you've got more for less have a look gift shops you've got another cafe restaurant coming up you've got another one called the mar blanco so i think you get the idea there's plenty of things to do in downtown Cater Papos, and if you look carefully, you can see quite a lot of people walking around, and quite a lot of people are scantily clad, because believe it or not, that's one of the big boats, isn't it? No, 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 um, near the fort, castle. Near the fort, yes. No, around it, I think it's, a, no, it's the lights going. It's the lights, yeah, the lights are flashing away. Out on the out by the fort, if oh. you understand, you've got different coloured lights, or so the lights change oh, right. colour. You know, I love this beautiful, beautiful evening drive. I think it's spectacular. Because it's really, um, it's really spectacular. It's something different when the sun is not shining anymore and the moon, the lovely young moon, is giving that a little bit enough light to the town. Just enough. It's just kissing it. Just Isn't kissing it. Mr. Paul, by the way, do you know how I feel? How do you feel? I'm so high. High? Yes. I feel like a giraffe. You feel like a giraffe? She's high on life and she's sitting up in an X1 BMW, if you understand. So she says she's sitting high up. Shall we go Shall we? round the roundabout Shall we? and then go back? Shall we? Well, we can't go back up the promenade road because it's one way. Well, we can. Yes, we are in Cyprus, we but we're can, not going to. But we can't. So we'll wiggle and waggle through the back streets, shall we? Yes. Yes, that's what we'll do. So we're coming back onto the promenade harbour road. And as we say, we go in the wrong way. To the left-hand side now is the major car park for the harbour area, and up yonder is the harbour restaurant. That's the one right in front of us now. And that mingles round to the lefty, shall we say. And as you can see, there's a further parade of shops and a further car park, and that's where the sightseeing buses park up, and that's where Paphos Sea Cruises park their buses up. And there's the vape shop. And then after that, you can see some little white light shining about a foot off the ground. That's the main office for the scooter hire place. That's Major Tito's places. Let's go straight up, receive a bit. Mm -hmm. And then just behind these railings here is the temporary bus station. And then this road is going to take us up to the Paphos Mile and the Tomb of the Kings area. How is it driving, Mr. Ford? Driving's excellent. <laughs> Absolutely excellent. <laughs> Greatest driver in the whole of Paphos. And hopefully it's a very easy car to drive. Do you believe in what you answered, by the way? Yes, I did. Oh, you are yes, a very, very good driver. I know some people think sometimes that I'm taking the mick, but you're not. You are a very, very good driver. It's just sometimes that you get carried away with looking into clothes shops. Oh, yeah, yeah. Things this like that. is a clothes yeah, shop. Yeah, there we are. So, back onto the main road. This road goes straight, straight. And the roads are Sherlock Holmes, aren't they? the is yeah. totally sh Even in a brand new car with ultra modern suspension i think this one's actually got electric dampers for god's sake and it still can't handle handle the sherlock holmesness of the bad roads in paphos but we understand that paphos has many good things like sunshine and monuments and the promenade and, blue, 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 and even marika and mia here as well blue, blue. now this area here is where 
the skywalk That's starts. Beautiful, that That's all lit up, beautiful. We're going to keep on going, and just over yonder is the lit up skywalk in the sky, if that's what you're wondering what it is. We are going to go under it. That's is it lit bump. up? Is it lit it up? is lit up. That's that thing there. So if you come back for the next video, you never know, we might be walking in the sky. Now, that building over there on the other side of the roundabout, take a left, Chris Evelyn, mm -hmm. is the King's Avenue Mall, and you can probably see it lit up in big, big white letters, which now means that we are on King's Avenue. That's a nice Porsche in front, isn't it? Is it? He's a customer, man. I know him. He lives in Payer. Well, everyone lives in Payer. But he actually lives in Sea Caves on the far end of Payer. Yeah, Even posher than Payer. Tell him that he is driving like crazy. He does drive a little bit quick, but of course that's probably why he's got a Porsche. Hmm. Yeah. He's a nice enough guy. Got a boat as well. Yes. And an X5. It will cost him a lot of money if well, he's got an accident. That's how it works. That's how it works. He's going to damage it, I'm going to phone, he's going to phone me up, I'm going to pop round and I'm going to put my hand right into his pocket all the way down. There we are. That's how it works. Now, Tomb of the Kings Avenue, as you can see, there's lots of lights shining, there's lots of restaurants, there's lots of bars, there's apartment complexes. Anything you could want if you are staying in this area is here. And the promenade is only, well, should we say 15 minute walk away. Or as we say, paradise is only 15 minutes away. You can also wiggle and waggle down all the lefts here and you'll get to the Cafalius Beach Resort or Beach Village, I think it's called. And of course, they've got a great, great beach as well. And that's where Faros Beach or the Lighthouse Beach. Locals call it Lighthouse, but the official name is Faros Beach because that's the area or the district that it's in. So we're going to keep going along the Tomb of the Kings Avenue and when we get to the roundabout at the end we are going to turn into the Tomb of the Kings archaeological site and that's where you're going to get your big, big goodbye from the great driver, the beauty over there, the Sarge and Chris Evelyn Booth. There we are. Have we overtaken the man with the Porsche now? There we go. This Is man it? having a ponytail like me. He has got a bit of a ponytail. Oh, yeah. he's got a long hair. Yeah, he's got long hair, yeah. Mm. Yes. A nice job, actually. He's all right. Yeah. He used to work on oil rigs, but now he's retired. He's got if plenty he's got of money. He's got a ponytail. It doesn't make him a bad person. No, of course it doesn't. Of course. Nothing wrong. In fact, I know another man with a ponytail, yeah. and he was actually on the, well, his wife was actually on the uh, WhatsApp with me the other day, and that's Justine and my gun baron number one, Mr. Oh, Andy. And yeah. they've moved into their brand new bungalow. He's still polishing his beautiful blue, 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 blue BMW sports coupe. Oh. And apparently he's whizzing around like a lunatic. But why not? He's retired. I and hope he's got long hair. Right. Yep. Well, it looked absolutely beautiful. The view out of the rear of their bungalow over the fields looked absolutely yeah. spectacular. Yeah. But this is what they wanted. Yep. They? That's what they wanted. Nice and tranquil, nice and calm. Some nice country lanes for Mr. Andy to go racing in his BMW. Let's turn in there, Chris. Yeah. There we are. So this is the Tomb of the Kings. Let's drive right up to the railings at the edge so people know exactly where we are. And this is where we're going to come to the stop. Stop there, Grisivi. Otherwise, we'll be going into the Tomb of the Kings area and hitting the railings. That's it. There we are. So it's now time for the very, very big goodbye. Let me come out. Oh, and you she's come out. out. And I'm coming out as well. Hold on. Grisivi LeBouf is now in charge of directing the movies. Hold on a second. Forgive the darkness, but it's absolutely pitch black. We see the outer booth. Show my lovely shoes shining. There we are. Show, there we are. For that. Look at those shoes. shoes. That's Grisivia the booth's new shoes. Miss Anne Bell, have a look at that. Do you like them? Not too bad. There we are. Not too short cut. Big goodbye, Grisivia the booth. But I would like to tell you many, many thanks for watching. And I would like to tell you how much we're loving you all. And don't forget to come and see another of our madness many kisses and goodbye all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching if you like what you see hit the like click subscribe please come back for a little bit more of our madness and that's the rear end of watching receive the booth as she vanishes into the darkness and now she's coming back thanks for watching